even though we're all the way across the country, we're nationwide, we're actually international at this point, we're in Canada. We have just a fantastic network. I can get on the phone, I can use technology. I mean, I talk to my JBF owners every day across the country. They may not be sitting in the office next to me or the cubicle next to me, but I do consider them my colleagues and my coworkers. This educated, you know, background from these owners that have been here for a long time to guide me through my business, help me when I'm having a lull, when I've hit a, a plateau and I'm, I can't get to that next spot, they're there to guide me to that next level. And that's what I love about JBF. They're a fantastic network of moms and business minds and innovative and creative and hardworking folks. Another reason we were attracted to it is because we were looking at other brick and mortar franchises and we both worked full time at the time. And we loved the idea of JBF because it complemented our full time jobs. We were able to start our own business while still working full time and not quitting the job. The culture of JBF is one thing that I was really impressed with. I think that Shannon is uh, a really good leader. She's very sincere. There's a lot of truth in the business and there's a lot of help. You know what I love about owning a JBF franchise is I'm a small business owner. I run my own business, but I have this awesome network of other franchise owners to help me along the way. There is no way I could have put together my first sale or even like gotten through my second sale without having those other owners jumping in rolling up their sleeves or being on speed dial 24 seven to help me. I'm one of these like data wizards and I did tons of research. I, first I Googled every single consignment store and consignment sale and then I went through and shopped them all. And I did a competitive analysis and it was like the pros and cons of their website, of their pricing, of their customer service, I could go on and on and on. And I was planning to do a sale on my own. And then when I learned about JBF and learned that they were a franchise and all the things they had to offer as a franchise, I, that was it. It's been just a huge, huge, you know, um, blessing in our lives. I had actually looked at other um, franchises and this is one of the um, most affordable and cost effective franchises out there. My husband and I owned another franchise prior to owning JBF and in that there's a lot of fixed overhead so you have rent, you have employees, you have a lot of things that are just a, a normal cost of doing business in addition to having a much higher franchise fee and royalty fees. So, the cost of entry within JBF is relatively low. I think it's a great bargain, to be honest. When you do your own sale, you don't have anyone to walk you through the process. You have to set up your own website. You have to create your own business email. You don't have design support. You've got to hire a, a graphic designer to do all these things. So when you sign in with JBF, it's all just packaged for you in a pretty bow, and it's easy, and there's so much help, and it's the best decision I ever made. The one thing you do have to invest a lot in with JBF, I believe, to be successful is time. So if you're willing to put that sweat equity into it and really invest of yourself, which is exciting because you're, you're directly contributing to your success, I think that that makes it all worthwhile. Training was great. Corporate is very supportive. They're always there a phone call away. And the great thing is that most franchisees support each other. And so I know that I can pick up the phone and I can call or text or Facebook anyone and they'll more than likely answer my question. And if they don't know it, then they will find out the answer and they'll get back to me. We're not a swap meet or a garage sale. We are actually a pop-up consignment store is what I tell people. And then they have a better understanding of what it is. And then they'll come in, they're like, Oh my goodness, it's so organized. Everything has a spot, this is so big, there's so much selection. And then they come and thank you. They thank you and say, thank you for bringing this to Vancouver. I have so much stuff to sell, I'm coming back next time.